Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have been using the GLM code plan a lot these days, and I also wanted to talk about the new updates that they have added to their GLM coding plan, and one of the ways that I'm using it to build some cool UI and designs for my stuff using an MCP that I have been liking quite a bit. So, as I have covered in some of my previous videos, you'll know that GLM code is one of the best plans as an alternative to Claude code, especially after they started RUG pulling by giving out quantized models even on the $200 plan, which is not acceptable at all. One thing that I wasn't able to talk about in the last video was that these plans are only 50% off for the first month, and then the price increases by 50% in the following months, which makes it a bit pricier but there's still not any other good plan that can beat it. Previously, there were only two plans with only two prices, which started at about $15 and $3 at first, going up to $6 and $30 in the successive months. That was a great deal. But now, for people who wanted more, there's also an option for a $30 plan that goes up to $60 in the next month. The guys from ZA, I also reached out to me to give me free access to the max plan. So, a big thumbs up to them. I was able to try it out, and it's pretty cool. Let me tell you a bit more about this as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Micro SaaS Fast. Dreaming of launching a Micro SaaS or AI side project, but wasting weeks setting up auth, payments, and SEO? Check out Micro SaaS Fast, a Next.js boilerplate with Clerk, Stripe, Resend, PostgreSQL, and AI instructions that cut hallucinations by 90% for Vibe coding. Easy backend integration with Python, Node, and Go. It is built and used by a CTO who helped 50 plus founders to launch SaaS in the past year. You can save 50 plus hours and actually ship faster. Check now. Link is in the description. Now back to the video. This new Max plan gets you up to about 2,400 prompts every five hours, which is about three times the usage quota of the Claude Max 20x plan. That's awesome because it's like 70 or 80 percent cheaper, which is pretty great nonetheless. Also, they seem to have introduced quarterly and yearly plans as well. Those basically give you the first term whether quarterly or annually, for the same initial discounted price. So, if you choose the $3 plan and prepay the annual subscription, then it costs only $36 and not $72, which is an awesome deal. This annual plan is probably the best if you're a student. It costs the same as basically a one-month chat GPT subscription while giving you 120 prompts every five hours, which is triple what Claude Code Pro or even ChatGPT Pro gives you in Codex for 10 times higher. So yeah, that is pretty much awesome for them to do. I'd highly recommend the $36 annual plan since it gets you a ton of value for that little cost. It's really awesome and the best deal you can get right now. You won't regret using the GLM 4.5 model either because the model is really powerful and you can check out my original GLM coding plan video on how it gives real value for the cost. I think the Pro and Max plans also make a lot of sense. Max basically doesn't let you touch any kind of limit ever and you can also easily integrate it into a ton of other workflows without worrying about limits or stuff like that which is pretty awesome if you ask me. It also now supports every AI coder. They have official written support for Goose, Claude Code, OpenCode, Roo, Kilo, Klein, and many more. I have been using it with Kilo because I like its interface. It's super easy to plug in there and use it accordingly. It will work for anyone, even if you don't know how to use a terminal, and it works really well with it. Also, one more thing that I'd recommend you to configure, especially if you are on the Pro or Max plan, is the Vision MCP and Web Search MCP from ZAI. These come included in your plan, 
meaning they won't cost you anything extra. Vision MCP basically allows GLM to take images and create designs from inspiration, do OCR, and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. And the web search one is also free, costing you nothing for the searches it performs. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. Now, one of the best parts about it is that you can basically configure their API almost anywhere in any kind of coding tool. And if you've watched my videos on how I use Gemini Code Assist as a designer, you'll know that I like to keep different tools configured for specific tasks. So, I thought that I should port my designer agent to GLM as well, and basically fully shift to this plan, and that's what I did. Kilo remained my main coder, but for the designer and general agent for simple tasks, I had to choose between open code, crush, or goose. I chose goose. Goose is an open source AI agent CLI tool, very similar to something like crush or open code, but it is more focused on being an AI agent rather than just an AI coder. It allows you to use it like a chat interface when you want, and basically extend it to even write code, read files, and much more when needed. This makes sure that I'm able to keep my chat interface and designer agent all set up in one workflow. It has a desktop app as well as a CLI option. The CLI comes in handy for me for some pre-scripted workflows, and the desktop app is generally better for everyday usage. It's super easy to set up. You just download it and check out the GLM documentation for how to set up everything. You just configure some settings and you're good to go. Make sure that you also set up the 2MCP that I told you about. And you should be good to go even with vision and web search and stuff like that. This allows you to use it as a generalist AI agent, similar to things like Manus, and it's pretty sleek and local. The interface is really awesome, if you ask me. Now, for the different stuff that I do, I create goose recipes. Recipes are basically custom instructions to make agents needed for specific tasks. Here, I make a designer agent where I ask it to use Shady CN when it can, along with Material UI when asked. I also have a context 7MCP server to allow it to search for documentation and stuff like that. I try to keep it simple but effective so as not to overflow the context with just instructions and MCPS. Then you can just use the agent through here and basically ask Goose to write code, make designs, and much more for you. It works very well, and I highly recommend you to check out Goose because it's really good especially if you combine it with the $30 plan. Then it becomes a kind of personal AI assistant, almost something like Manus, but local and open source, which is awesome. This is something that I wanted to talk about, and it really is awesome for sure. I don't think there's any better value than this for now. If you're a student, then I'd highly recommend you to go for the $36 annual plan or even the $6 monthly plan, which is also a great value. Nothing beats it. You can configure the model in a ton of tools that I show on my channel every day. So, you'll never be limited to tools, since the API, they have works almost everywhere without any issues. So, this is great. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.